every year in West Antarctica, about two feet of snow fall on the ice sheet surface. This snow contains soil dust, volcanic ash, sea spray droplets, and even bacterial cells transported from far away. Because scientists cannot measure all of these things in the atmosphere throughout the year, we dig down into the surface of the snow to understand how these components of the atmosphere have changed through time. My name is Bess Kaufman. I'm a PhD student at the University of Maine and I'm here in West Antarctica in the snow pit to take some snow samples for chemistry to look at um, what's coming out of the atmosphere to this site in Antarctica. My snow pit was dug at the site of a new deep ice core being used to better understand climate history called the West Antarctic Ice Sheet or Waste Divide Ice Core. And one of the things I have to do is take density measurements of the snow that allows me to correct my chemistry for the actual amount of snow that fell for every interval that I measure. So the way I do that, I have this um, metal device with a volume, when I put this on here, of exactly 100 cubic centimeters in this box that's created here. So when I fill that with snow, I can weigh the snow and figure out what my density is. So I fill it up with snow. And you can see there's a little overhang here. So I use my little scraper, push it on there, and get rid of all the extra. So I know that it's exactly full with no extra snow. Then I have a hanging scale stuck into the wall of my snow pit. Right now it reads zero, and as I put the snow in, I check to see how much it weighs. Get all the snow out of the out of there. And I look at the scale here. And it reads 39 grams. And I know that my volume was 100 cubic centimeters, so that's 0.39 grams per cubic centimeter. That's my density. I'm gonna dump it out. And I check the temperature. We're at Minus 23 and a half degrees centigrade. Um, so as we go down through the snowpack, it gets colder and colder. And um, it's just interesting to see how the physical properties of the snow change uh, with depth. I don't know if you can see, but there are also some wind crests in the snow. And so it's also a nice thing to write down the stratigraphy of the snow as we see it. The stratigraphy or layering in the snow can be seen when we let the sun shine through a wall of the snow pit. That helps us interpret our chemistry measurements so that we know maybe this is a storm that occurred here and maybe this is another storm. Um, and it just allows us to get a better overall understanding of what's happening here in the snow. We apply what we learn using these surface snow studies to the measurements we make on deep ice cores. Deep ice cores give us a much longer perspective on how Earth's climate has changed in the past. The West Antarctic Ice Sheet, or Waste Divide Ice Core, shown here, will provide us with a record of Earth's climate history spanning the past 50,000 years or more. I guess you can probably just say, you say who you are if you want to, or okay. just what you're doing. Sure. It's pretty free form. Is my, my boogers, are they all cleaned up? They're like, you look, you look wonderful. All right. Did you tell me if I had chocolate in my teeth or something? Yeah, yeah. Okay. So you can start now.